Hi, this is Diane, love to bake. And what we're going to make is a Kentucky uh, butter cake. Uh, I've changed it up a little bit, the recipe. Um, I uh, had a friend that made this uh, and I really liked it, so I asked for her recipe. Uh, but I just uh, made some little small changes. Uh, but it just is a delicious cake and, well, it's another easy recipe and I like easy recipes. So let's get started. Now we're gonna go in a little bit different order uh, with our dry ingredients instead of with our wet. Um, but we're gonna put three cups of all-purpose flour into our mixing bowl. Okay, that was three cups of all-purpose, okay. And the next thing that I'm going to be stirring in is two cups of granulated sugar into the flour on low, just to stir it all in. Okay, and that was two cups. And then just stir it in. Next thing we're gonna be putting in is a teaspoon of salt. So we'll stir that in. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of baking powder. That was one teaspoon. And we're going to put a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're just going to stir that in. Okay, now we have all the dry ingredients that are ready to go, so we've got to do the rest. So, again, it's a different order than we're used to seeing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a cup of milk, okay? put that in. As you see, I'm just going to um, beat this on low. We're also going to be putting in one cup of butter. I've cut it into small pieces because I think it, it breaks up and, um, you know, mixes it creams better that way. So I'm going to raise my speed. I'm going to put the rest of the butter in. At this point, we're going to put in uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. And now I'm just going to start adding my eggs one at a time, and you're going to be using four that have been at room temperature. That's the second one. The third. And the fourth. So I'm going to warn you about the sound. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my panel off here. Which, there we go. doesn't want to come out. Okay, so we'll work around it. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, now we have a nice batter. And I'm just going to make sure to, you know, work the bottom and those sides. smells nice. Okay, and you don't want to overbeat the batter. Okay, the next thing is you can use a bunt pan as long as it, it your whatever pan uh, I find of the 10 inch uh, pan works really, uh, really great for this. And then we're just going to pour that batter in. I'm going to try to make sure that it's equal all the way around here. There we go. I'm going to get the rest of this out of the mixing bowl. Okay. There we go. All right. And I'm going to rest my hands very 
What you're going to do is you're going to bake this cake at 325. I'm going to cap it a little bit too before I put it in that preheated oven at 325. And it's going to take you anywhere from 55 to 60 minutes to bake up. And use your cake tester or your toothpick to see that it comes out uh, dry. And then put your uh, cake on a cooling rack when it comes out of the oven for at least 10 minutes or so, that type of thing. And so that you'll be able to remove it uh, from, the, uh, from, the, from the pan. Now, when it comes out, it will bake up and look like this. What I did was, um, I just went ahead, because the person that I'm making it for uh, likes chocolate and they like peanut butter very much. So what I did was I took a cup of uh, milk chocolate, or you can use your chocolate chips, you know, your milk chocolate or your dark chocolate, whatever you want. I put it in the microwave with um, two uh, tablespoons of uh, butter and melted it together. And then I just poured it over the top of the cake. And then I went ahead and just sprinkled these are uh, peanut butter mini morsels. So you have, you know, the chocolate and the peanut butter, okay? And um, let's cut into it. Okay. It really makes for just a delicious, um, delicious cake. Um, it has a nice medium texture to it. Uh, then you're going to be able to taste the chocolate and the peanut butter on top. If you don't want to put that type of topping over the cake, uh, you can uh, certainly just sprinkle uh, powdered sugar over it or make a sugar glaze or put any kind of frosting that you want uh, over it. So there's so many variations to it. Like I said, I made this for someone that likes chocolate and peanut butter. Uh, and with the buttered cake, it just comes out delicious. Um, if you try this recipe and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. Please subscribe to my channel and please look for my videos only on YouTube because that's the only place that they are on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.